Hello everyone, this is Moot, and in this video we're going to go over the trader contract. So there's two things that you need to know. There's a trader and there's a personal merchant. A trader is something that you place and uh, you sell things. It's a vendor that sells things to other people and it will purchase things from other people such as pelts or items that you create. A merchant is a personal merchant and its entire job is to sell things to other players that you put in his inventory. Now I don't know the original reason why um, Code Club or the creators of Worm created the trader contract. It's been speculated that it's kind of a large buy-in in order uh, for a payout through the long term to help pay for deed costs. It's a 50 silver on Worm Online and uh, Worm Unlimited by default to purchase a trader contract. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started on how to actually place a trader in our village. So you can actually pl place a trader outside the village as well. But in this case, I'm going to place a trader inside my village, inside my deed. And in order to do that, it has to be within a structure. So it can't be within a, uh, a, a merchant stall. It has to actually be within a structure. So I created this small little shed here. And I know uh, by al already my layout, there's going to be structures around my token but I want uh, the trader to be right here in this structure so we're gonna go into the center of the structure here and we're gonna right click on the trader contract and we're gonna go ahead and manage trader and it's gonna tell us it's gonna come up with this long window on what a trader is um, it buys things and sells things on his own shop so he owns his own shop uh, and then it tells you the difference between a trader and a personal merchant uh, the big thing that you need to know is that uh, whatever the trader uh, sells, uh, the portion of uh, uh, of the proceeds he receives from other players after he sells an item can go into paying the taxes or goes into the coffer for your village upkeep. I'm going to go ahead, and since it's just me and this is kind of a, a creative server, I'm going to go ahead and put the taxes at the highest uh, possible. And you can change that later. And I'm going to go ahead and name him Moot. And, well, let's make it a female female trader. And uh, so you want to be in the, you want to be on the title. You want to be within the structure. You can't have any other, any other characters or any other animals in the same tile. And you put the name in and you put the tax percent and you push send. And there it is. There she is. She uh, she now actually is a citizen of my deed. So if my deed disbands, she will leave as well. Uh, in order to kind of circumvent that, you can go into your settlement, manage citizens, and you can go ahead and kick kick the merchant out so or the trader out. So you can go ahead and click here, and uh, you can kick them out somehow. Oh, there it is. Revoke citizenship. And send. Let's see if she actually did it. I don't think she's a part of our uh, deed. And the reason why you would want to remove them from your settlement is um, because if the deed disbands, uh, so will the trader. The trader will just go away. It'll poof, gone. Uh, you you won't you won't see her again. Uh, she might give a refund of the fifty silver. Um, but I I'm not too sure exactly if she would. It's happened to me before, and I haven't really paid a lot of attention to it. Now, what do they sell? They sell different things, and on the Wormpedia, uh, by default, they sell like far walker stones and twigs and magical chests. Uh, on this server, she actually sells a lot more than that because it's a little bit unique. Um, she can uh, be populated with tombs and things like that. Now, I want to purchase a rod of transmutation uh for my for my settlement and if i did i you know it's pretty easy i can go here i go ahead and withdraw uh money oops money out of my bank bank withdrawal and let's say i want to go ahead and take uh actually let's go ahead and purchase something a little smaller because i don't need any rods of transmutation I want to I want to purchase a uh, sleep powder. I don't really need it, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the sleep powder. I'm gonna drag it down. It's just like a trade window, and she's gonna tell me you need five silver coins to purchase this. Okay, I'm gonna put my silver coin in there, drop it in, and trade. Accept. 
and the trade was successful. I now have the sleep powder. I can go ahead and eat it if I wanted to. Mmm, delicious. And if I wanted to sell something to her, let's say I wanted to sell uh, tombs. Let's get. I want to sell. I want to sell one of my one of my emeralds. This this one. I'll go trade in there, and she'll give me back the quantity uh, that she thinks is appropriate. In addition, if you want to know how much you'll receive, you go go to that item, right click on it, price, get price. And I'll tell you about one copper, and obviously she will give me uh, about one copper for it, less than one copper. Uh, and then you say yes, and poof, there it is. And you, then you can go and take that money, money in the bank, gas in your tank. There it is. Now, I don't want the structure to stay here because, uh, well, that's not part of my deed plan. So I'm going to go ahead and you, I'm going to go ahead and destroy destroy this structure you can either do it through manage buildings okay or you can go here and do permission manage building uh okay you can't do that one so you have to go to your manage buildings and demolish you oh oops so go here manage buildings demolish yes poof and there she is she's all by herself in this beautiful wicked land anyways thanks for watching uh stay tuned for more videos